Uy, ¿cómo está? What is up you guys? It's me Kay and today's vlog will be a fun one. We are going to geek over planners. As you all know, we are in the midst of the planner buying season as holidays are approaching, new year is coming. Just like me, I know that most of you are stuck in a dilemma on which planner to buy for 2021. And I might actually just help you with that. Ta-da! The brand I have with me here is what I believe to be one of the front runners in the planner business. If you're in the planner community or in the journaling community, I know that you have heard either one of these planners or even all of them. So yeah, these are the planners from CNS Design. CNS Designs were kind enough to send me each of their planners for me to make a review and share with you guys. I might actually have a giveaway at the end of this video stay tuned to that this collaboration came as a surprise to me i wasn't expecting this cns was really kind enough to have a social media partnership with me so here we are <laughs> just a little background the cns designs is actually ran by two sisters they started way back in 2008 based both here in the philippines and in the u.s and I reckon that the aim of this brand is to achieve both fun and functionality and later on we will see how much of that manifests in their planners. I will leave their social media links and their shops on the description box below so make sure to check that out after watching this vlog. CNS sent me one of each of their planner series, namely the Limitless Planner, the Back to Basics Planner, and the Design Your Life 2021 Planner. Okay, first up is the crowd favorite. This is the Design Your Life 2021 Planner. It has a printed multicolored hardcover with a matte finish. Its size is A5, that's 6.5 by 8.5 inches, plus the tabs. As a comparison, here's my A5 journal, and as you can see, the DYL 2021 is slightly bigger due to the extra size the tabs brought. This year's DYL now has one elastic band closure that keeps the planner safe and tidy. Another new feature is its binding. Unlike its predecessors which were wire or spring binded, the DYL 2021 is mythe soon, which is good because I think it's friendlier to both righties and lefties. At the same time, it can lay flat on any surface. Along with its new binding comes with two different colored ribbon bookmarks, perfect to mark both your monthly and weekly spreads. At the back, we get an expandable pocket and two sheets of cute and functional stickers which you can use to bring fun to your busy schedule. Moving on, here's what it looks like at the side of the planner. This tabbed pages is a real lifesaver in navigating through the planner, each labeled and color-coded with efficiency in mind. What's inside the DYL is a space for your info in any case of emergency along with an inspiring quote. Here we have a welcome page filled with guides on how to maximize the planner. Flipping to the next, we have the goals page. Very useful since all of us has goals made be short or long term. There's also a space here for road mapping. Next, we get a health tracker both for the mind and body. Interesting since I feel like answering this quarterly will be like a self checkup and hoping with fingers crossed we can use this travel checklist and planner perfect for prepping for our next trip in 2021 and there are provided spaces for flight details and itinerary there are actually three sets of these on to the next spread it provides blank spaces for us to fill in any kind of our lists the last time a tracker of things that we don't do often but is essential like when did i last get my car checked 
Also, the monthlies for recurring monthly tasks or can also be used as a menstrual tracker. Moving on, the key can be used for keeping passwords, especially if you use different passwords per account. Next is the dated 12 month event planner or more like your 2021 at a glance. A gift list for that inner Santa in you to avoid forgetting what your mom would like as a gift for Christmas and a wish list since it's nice to give yourself once in a while. One of the best tools in the planner is this cash flow. Very useful no matter you're a worker or still a student. The cash flow will really help in budgeting, managing your bills, and saving. This one really said hashtag adulting 101. <laughs> It's also great that CNS provided a space for migration notes. Here we write the stuff, tasks, or reminders that was from our previous planner that we wanted to carry out for the new year too. Plus, we get extra pages, some ruled, dotted, and blank. Which reminds me that this paper is 120 GSM and is FSC certified, perfect for advocates of sustainable living. On to the most exciting part, the monthlies. Here we get different themes every month, a power phrase, a goal statement, a space for anything under the sun, may it be a quote or doodles for Polaroids, blank calendars for habit trackers, or monthly challenges. And as a college student, I find this sleep tracker essential to monitor my sleeping habits. Next page is where you track your monthly expenses. You just basically record here everything you splurged on in that month. Online orders, eat all you can, milk teas, stuff like that. If you need more of these, CNS has a printable on their website, so check that out. This is the two-page monthly overview, and since the DYL is a dated planner, the dates are already set here. What's good in a dated one is that it motivates us to use our planners every day since we don't want wasted pages, and that definitely ups our productivity. Now the weeklies. It is divided into quadrants or boxes, ideal for those who prefer spacious dailies. It also has weekly blurbs and mini calendars. Here's a very quick sneak peek of the monthly themes. Enjoy! Lastly, by the end of the planner, there is a future log where you can plan for the next year and what you write here can be migrated to your next and fresh planner. Next planner is the Back to Basics and this one's the exact opposite of the DYL. The planner has a simple powder blue hardcover with a matte finish. It is 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches, including its binding. Thus, it is definitely bigger than the A5 journal and the Design Your Life 2021 planner. And just like last year's, it still has a wire o spring binding. And honestly, there are pros and cons with this. And one of the cons that I noticed is the uncomfortability to write on the left side since I'm a righty. And a pro is that this always guarantees to lay flat. But another con that I discovered is the slight struggle I experience whenever I'm closing the planner. So if you're sensitive to that, make sure to consider these factors. The Back to Basics comes with a detachable bookmark that also serves as a ruler. It's thick in my opinion and I just hope that this could survive a whole year of detaching and attaching. This planner also has a no-tear double-sided pocket at its beginning, and here is the ever-present and ever-cute sticker sheet, yay! <laughs> and unlike the previous version, what's new in this Back to Basics is that the pages are now tabbed, and this is now an undated planner. For the contents, we also have an emergency info, a unique vision board where you can design your 2021 quote, and here we have a very needed guide page on how to use the tools and the weeklies. This is for us to plan like a pro, okay? And basically, it has all the productivity tools that the DYL planner also has. They only differ in the fonts used for the headers since 
the back to basics fashion a standard and bold font i also noticed that since the back to basics is bigger in size it offers more space for each page so if you prefer to have a bigger plan space then this is definitely for you since this one's an undated planner the events planner page is pretty empty and it is for you to fill in the dates I also tried to print a printable from the CNS website and this is a feature that I am so excited about. We can easily attach an extra page since it is spring binded. This is actually a pro that diminishes all of its cons. Here we have the very basic undated monthlies and undated planners actually fascinate me since I can start whenever I want to. I might actually prefer this one because a lot of my dated 2020 planners pages went to waste because of the pandemic and I wouldn't want a repeat of that. For the weeklies, we get weekly quotes, water trackers, stay hydrated fam! Priorities list because we should set our priorities straight, you know, and weekly habit trackers I find this one's location very convenient since then I wouldn't have to flip over to my monthlies Which could be a hassle for some instances the weekly of the back to basics has a vertical layout Has subtle partitions per day which you can categorize into maybe work life and thoughts It also has spaces for future planning and I think that the back to basics really balance both the concepts of of fun and functionality and again by the end it has an undated future log useful for planner migration and since the CNS planners have the same type of 120 GSM paper I did a pen test on this one and it handled all pens pretty well the brush pens however has subtle ghostings so if you don't like that it's fine to use just the gel pens I've always believed in save the best for the last and the Limitless Planner may just be my personal fave. The Limitless series features three planners and this one is the vegan leather variation. As you can see, it is soft bound and the vegan leather gave off a very professional vibe. It also has its name and brand embossed on both sides. Just beautiful. It's 7 by 8.25 inches in size, a bit smaller compared to the other Limitless planners, but it is absolutely bigger than an A5 journal. One that piqued my interest is its two elastic band closures. It's actually my first time encountering something like this and it really went well with the overall minimalist aesthetics. And just like the DYL, this Limitless is my soon, in contrast with the other Limitless planners which are spring binded. Again, this is another planner that will give you a comfortable writing experience no matter if you're a lefty or a righty. This also has two ribbon bookmarks which are very monochrome in color. Flipping to the back, we have here one expandable pocket and of course, the mandatory sticker sheet in every CNS planner. One of its features in contrast with the DYL and the Back to Basics is that the Limitless doesn't have tabs. However, it has the most number of pages out of the three. And the Limitless definitely gets first place in overall appearance. Your range of available choices right now is limitless. I love how career-oriented this welcoming quote can be. And some distinct pages that the limitless has are the contacts page and the three-year calendar overview dating from the year 2020 to the year 2022. Another is the important dates where you can write ahead the dates of your end-of-term examinations, seminars, or any important events. And again, all the same productivity tools as the other planners have, except that it is fashioned in a minimalistic manner. It actually surprised me how much admiration and awe I had when I first did a flip through of this planner. It really came as a shocker since I can say that I had the least excitement for this one. And then, BAM! She really said, surprise friend, I'ma make you fall in love with me at first sight. Now the best tool that the Limitless has to offer is the project tracker featuring the Promodoro technique. This technique will help you focus more on each of your projects by having intervals of work and break. Definitely a healthier way to grind up in your productivity without compromising your health. It has separate spaces for small projects, 
and for the bigger ones. Again, nice crisp and clean layout of each spread. Another plus point that the Limitless got from me is that it is undated. Perfect for people who have big gaps between their busy and not so busy months due to their nature of work. So they can actually skip the months where they really don't need that much planning and just pick up their planner whenever the situation calls for it. Also, we have here a two-page expense tracker. For the weekly spreads, we get 5 weeks per month and every week has quotes that may just help you get through the day. Okay, here's a question. What keeps you going every day? Let me know your answers in the comments down below. On the weeklies, we also get a vertical layout with time slots from 6 to 10. Interesting because you can easily see which time of the day you are much productive and or relaxed. And finally, we have pages for notes both ruled and dotted. Final recommendations, if you're a first-time user of a planner, then I definitely recommend the Design Your Life 2021 planner since it is already dated, it already has those monthly themes, it contains all the trackers and functions that you would need all throughout the year. You wouldn't actually put much effort on this one as you would if you will use the other two planners, so this is definitely a yes for beginners. If you're someone who easily gets overwhelmed with themed monthlies, with illustrations, and full-on colors on your spreads, then the Back to Basics planner is just for you since just like what the name suggests, the Back to Basics is a basic planner. It actually gives you the creative freedom to get to design your own planner and it is actually undated so you can start whenever and wherever you want. And if you're looking for a career or work planner, then the Limitless planner is definitely for you since this planner contains functions, spreads that will actually help you boost your productivity game and just help you focus more on your projects, on your career, or on your acads. Definitely recommended. Down to your most awaited part, yes I know. Since it's already the season for giving, I will give away this very beautiful Design Your Life 2021 planner to one lucky winner. So make sure to read the description box below for the mechanics on how to join this giveaway again thank you so much cns designs for this collaboration and for making this possible that's it for this vlog like share comment subscribe and make sure to ring that bell button for another dose of stationary happiness okay